Hello and welcome everyone to part 6 of my series where I continue to count down PC Gamer Magazine's 50 Best Ever from the November 1999 issue as chosen by the editors. In this video, we cover numbers 25 through 21. Although the picks this week aren't exactly the most exciting or memorable as something like Half-Life or Doom, I think I might get a little bit of traction with this one as many retro game channels don't exactly beat you over the head with the games I'm about to present. Not to say these games aren't popular choices, but you can really understand what the editors were trying to do with this top 50 list. Making sure to include puzzle games, flight sims, tycoon type games, war tactics and strategy, and every retro game collector's favorite, sports titles. So without any further delay, let's get to the list. Number 25, Lemmings. If sheer originality were the overriding criteria for this list, Lemmings would be a strong contender for the number one slot. This classic puzzler gives you the task of saving a bunch of mindlessly marching rodents by guiding them to each level's exit, using an assortment of custom designed tools and special abilities. Diggers, stair builders, umbrellas that allow for high falls, even the sacrificial exploding of one lemming for the good of the many, are just a few of the plethora of tricks at your disposal. The cutesy, low-resolution graphics still have a certain appeal even in this era of 3D acceleration, and the cries of despair right before time runs out and your lemmings burst apart in a fireworks-like display still brings a tear to our eye. Timelessly addictive. Number 24, Red Baron. It was no longer the prettiest flight sim around in 1999, but Red Baron still stood out as an icon in its genre. Its campaign mode draws players into the role of a World War I fighter ace with style and aplomb, and the flight models of all the planes are convincing enough to make you feel as though you're experiencing the real thing. Unlike the impersonal long-range combat and complex systems found in flight simulations based on more modern aircraft, Red Baron's close-in dogfighting and fly-by-wire handling makes the game readily accessible to even the most casual gamer. They were still waiting for a better historical flight simulation in 99. Number 23, Railroad Tycoon 2. Pop Top Software's homage to Sid Meier's classic strategy game was more of a faithful updating than a reinvention, which is why it has superseded the original game on the list. There have been some changes, most notably the beautiful new graphics and a much improved interface but anyone familiar with the older title will have no problem making the transition to what has become a modern day classic in its own right. One totally new addition is the mission based gameplay. You can still play the old way if you like, which adds extra zing to the already very deep and challenging experience. If you missed out on the magnificent original, here's your chance to make amends. It's the greatest train set you'll ever own. Number 22, Panzer General 2. Strategic Simulations debuted its general series in an effort to launch a new genre of accessible, attractive turn-based strategy games, and succeeded brilliantly. The culmination of the series' achievements was Panzer General II, a game that offered endless treasures not only for hardcore World War II enthusiasts, but also for masses of more casual wargamers. Presenting gorgeous battlefield maps with accurately modeled units, Panzer General II was a feast for the eyes, as well as the military mind. Most of the games in the Lauda General line are worth seeking out, but this one in particular represents the best execution, to that date at least, of small-scale engagements within a vibrant and challenging grand campaign. Number 21, NHL 98. Although there was a 1999 edition released in 98, and while it was a great game in its own right, it didn't quite match the thrill one would get from playing the 98 edition, especially in multiplayer. A lot has to do with the terrible new fighting system that NHL 1999 implemented, as well as its unbelievably stingy goalies. NHL 98 may not be the world's greatest simulation of hockey, but it more than makes up for any gaps in realism with insanely fast, hard-hitting gameplay combined with what are still the best production values found in any sports game. It's a beautiful looking, frenetic, and fun sports experience that we never get tired of playing, particularly we add friends 
and some brewskis to the equation. Well, that concludes the list for this week. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you.